Welcome back to It's a Tool Thing. Today with a video about the Milwaukee Mid-Torque and why I'm not impressed. Uh, this is actually my second one. Uh, unfortunately, my first one got stolen. And when I replaced this one, I ended up just buying one from Home Depot uh, right out of the store. And it's a pinned one. So I've actually got this socket not in the pin so that it would be easier to remove. Sorry about the video quality. It's uh, hard to do under a vehicle uh, by myself. But I'm going to go ahead and start this video here and talk about it. So this is a Gen 1 mid-torque running a 5.0 battery. It is got a full charge and is set on high. I'm using a standard 12 point driveline socket. As you can see, I'm not breaking them loose. And these bolts are only torqued to 125 pounds when they were originally installed. They do have Loctite, and they have been in for some time. I'm out of frame here a little bit, unfortunately. Just showing that it is going the right direction to take it off. Now I'm working on switching over to an old Ingersoll Rand Titanium that I've had for probably 10 years. It wasn't new when I got it. Hooked up to shop air with 100 PSI using the same socket. Absolutely no issue. This fastener here actually stripped out on me. I was able to remove it later. Uh, I ended up grabbing another socket and was able to break it loose by hand. But that's not included in the video. I had to stop to be able to go get it. So, as you can see, that 10-year-plus-old Ingersoll Rand Titanium, which weighs less and unfortunately has an airline attached to it, could easily remove those driveline bolts. They're half-inch, 12-point fine-thread bolts. I said they're generally torqued to 125 pounds is what I put them in at. Um... Another thing this mid-torque does not do is when I run those things in, which I run them in and I always refer to it as the Les Schwab method, um, I know this thing won't get it up to torque, but I'll hammer those bolts in with this thing and then I'll get a little bit of a turn with my torque wrench set to 125 consistently. Um, where if I do the same thing with my Ingersoll Rand air gun um, I will check them and they will be right on spec or slightly above easily without even without even trying so that's why I say that the the mid torque which this is a gen 1 and this is my second copy and my other one was just as I will go with the word pathetic um, it does seem to be affected by the size of the socket or the weight of the socket and the size of the bolt because it does better when it has a larger bolt head but as you can see that Ingersoll had no issue removing those fasteners thank you for watching
please like and subscribe and have a great day. Comment below.